Hi, this is Meghnad. In this video, we'll learn how to install SQL Developer. So in the previous two sessions, we have learned how to install Oracle Database and how to create a user, right? So now we will learn how to install SQL Developer. So what is the use of SQL Developer is? So writing commands in Oracle command line, it's not so easy. Let's take for example, I'll open here and let me go to SQL command line. Now let's take for example, I need to connect to database. So connect, I have created user mig in the session two, so in the previous video. So I'll connect to that user. So now I'm, I got connected. Now in, in this command line, if I want to write some query, let's take for example, I want to write select user from, now I missed a type dual here. So in case if I want to type something, I cannot go back. So I can type here dual and semicolon. So I, I'm able to see this result. So Oracle SQL command line is good, but modifying the commands that I have typed in the previous line, or in case if I, if I want to uh, save it, it's difficult to do with the command line. So to, to have more useful or a better editor, so we have SQL developer, which is the best editor for writing commands in SQL. So what we'll do now, let's try to install SQL developer. So all I will do is SQL, um, I'll search for Oracle SQL developer download. So let me copy this and let me open Google Chrome and let's search for this. So now I'm searching for Oracle SQL developer download. Let me click on this. Now the first link you can see here, so it's having um, SQL developer 17.2 version. You might have it. Um, so now what I'll do is, it got released recently, a couple of weeks back, so July 11th. So what I'll do now is let me click on accept license agreement and click on this uh, Windows 64 bit and it requires JDK 8. So it's showing it's included. So let me click on download. So it will ask me to log in. So now you can see here, it's taking me to the login page. So in case if you don't have the account, you need to create an account and enter any mail address and create an account. So I already created the account in Oracle. So let me enter that account. And let me log in. Okay, now I entered the credentials. You can see here the download started. Uh, the size is almost 395 MB. So let me download this. So now we can see that download is done. Let me go to the folder and let me extract this. So you can see here, so SQL developer, it's almost like um, uh, this many KB. So right click on this. So using 7-zip software also, we can extract it. So in case if you have 7-zip uh, installed, you can extract it. If not, you can install it or you can select this extract all. Let me extract this. And it is getting extracted. Okay. So now you can see that it got extracted. So let me open this and inside you'll find SQL developer. So what I'll do now is I have this uh, JDK, everything inside this, I have this SQL developer. So I'll copy this folder, SQL developer, into my D drive or somewhere. So let me copy this and go to this PC and put it in official and I'll create new folder. So I'll create new folder Oracle. And inside this, I'll put this SQL developer. So now it's getting copied. So I don't want to have in downloads folder. So I'm copying it to D drive Oracle and I'm pasting this SQL developer. So let me open this. And here you'll find something called SQL developer. So double click on this. So for the first time it'll ask for, it might ask for, do you want to migrate uh, the settings from previous SQL installation or something? You can click on no, if it asks for. And then it's taking time. So you can see here, it just opened SQL developer. And the next what you have to do is, you need to click on new connection. So right click on this new connection. So right click on this connections and click on new. And I will write here, so connection name, you can give some connection name. I will be giving uh, Meg uh, Oracle some name. So Meg now this is my name, so I'm giving Meg Oracle. 
username uh, which I created in the previous uh, tutorial session that is uh, session 2 so I gave username as make and password also I gave as make and I can save password here I can save this and this no need to change this and um, I can click on connect now you can see here under connections I got a name Meg Oracle and now I can uh, type the query here so see here now there is a new query so I can right click on this and uh, if I want to disconnect I can select disconnect but for now let's say this so in the query builder now I can type here select star or select user from dual and put semicolon so select this line and click on execute now you can see here a uh, user is make I can see the result so this way this is more intuitive when compared to typing the queries in the command line so all the command line also you can do uh, create tables select queries write joins everything will work here in command line but writing commands from this SQL developer is more user friendly when compared to writing commands in SQL command line right so in this video tutorial of third session we learned how to install Oracle SQL developer and we just typed a simple query to see which user has logged in right so that's all for now in the next video we'll learn how to create tables and a lot more about Oracle thanks for watching see you in the next session session 4